It will forever be one of the culinary world's greatest achievements. Dough, sauce, cheese, and toppings. Forged in fire and delivered to your plate with remarkably consistent deliciousness, regardless of the venue. It's been said that, much like bedroom intimacy, even when pizza is bad, it's still good. But here at The Spatch, we don't merely shoot for good, both in our personal lives and this YouTube program. So today, we have a mission. A mission to find the finest pizza in all of Denver, Colorado. I will find it, or I will die of a carb-induced heart attack trying. Is it an adventure or a public service? Well, like the best things in life, dear viewer, it may just be. A little bit of both. Let's go. I am Sam Newman. I'm a Denver realtor and I love exploring our city. Come along with me on the dispatch. When deciding where to visit, it wasn't easy narrowing it down. There are literally hundreds of spots to choose from. So I took to the gram and asked the faithful. Where is your favorite pizza spot in the Mile High City? And the number one answer was this place, Blue Pan. Swanson and I take a seat and await the first slice of the day. Is there such thing as bad pizza? Like, I'm not talking about Totino's pizza. Even Totino's. When I was in college, we would go to whatever the grocery store was, and you, there were a dollar piece. You get 10 for a dollar. Yes, 10 for a dollar. The only limitation was how big was our freezer. So my question with today is, do we, do we try to get the same thing every place, yeah. but here we kind of ordered the signatures, which I, I think that's the move. Order what they're really, really good at, yeah. and let that go. That's my favorite, we've talked about this before, that's my favorite thing to do in any restaurant. They tell you right. what you want right. if you're new to the thing. Yeah. What are you known for, why am I here? It's a unique style here at Blue Pan that doesn't fall into the classic New York or Chicago categories. Detroit style pizza, which I didn't know was the thing until a few years ago, right. but it is, kind of halfway between deep dish and like a classic New York style. Right. And I don't think, I don't have time for deep dish, yeah. but this is enough crust for me, like no more than this. With respect to my Chicago friends, I don't generally want my pizza in the form of casserole. So I appreciate the square concoction that Blue Pan kicks out. Plenty of dough, but you can still eat it with your hands. We try a few, but for me, the Brooklyn Bridge is the showstopper. So for those keeping track, we're in Brooklyn, Detroit, and Denver all at once. And the day has only begun. Blue pan. Blue pan. Thoughts? Quite nice. We didn't have a lot. Leaving here full-ish. Have a lot more pizza to eat. I don't rate, but I would say quite nice. Big fan. I want to see what the more New York style slices are like. But blue pan. I mean, it, it's delicious. You can't go wrong. So now... We're gonna go downtown for a much different vibe. Ian's on Blake Street, a roomy counter serve pizza by the slice joint located right across the street from Coors Field. Here, they dispatch with the pretense and get you fed by slapping a big old triangle on a paper plate. They have the classics, but Ian's also has fun with the toppings, and the mac and cheese slice is their all time bestseller. It's a great place to stop by for a quick lunch or stumble into late night. We're somewhere in between. I meet my friend Michaela, who is a Colorado native and former New York resident, to chow down and talk pizza. Tell me your history with pizza. Pizza is um, my love language. And you put macaroni and cheese on a pizza and it just next level. <laughs> what was your experience uh, with pizza in New York? Because I feel like that's my favorite style of pizza, and that's kind of the classic style we have here. I do like a New York slice. One for you. Yes, and Swanson. This one's for me. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I love a New York slice too. It's um, it's my favorite version. You know, it is. Chicago is fine. Detroit style is fine, but yeah. I like the good. Simple. Do you have a philosophy on pizza? Anything wood fired to me okay. is like beautiful. Gold standard. Right. Fresh, locally sourced ingredients, then we're talking. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah? Yes, sir. Are you gonna eat that whole thing and then go have oh, pizza? Should we try it? No, no, it's I just mean flipping good. Okay, hold on. Try this one. Yeah, it's... How would you compare and contrast New York City, home of some of the best pizza on the planet, to Denver? Crazy busy. Yeah. New York. Yeah. 
There is an energy there that's like, you can't replicate it. Food, you can get every cuisine in like a block's radius. Right. What do you prefer about our fair city here on the plains? Denver. The mountain vibe, yeah. which is also something you can't replicate. Right. I yeah. can be in the city and then in like less than an hour, I can be out in the mountains. Mm -hmm. I've had pizza just as good here as I've had in New York. Really? Yeah. 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 Really, cuisine in general is pretty good here. It's just not, there's just not as much of it. Exactly, but quality over quantity, you know? We go our separate ways and Swanson and I have one more stop. As night begins to fall and so too does the snow, we make our way to Rhino and Redeemer. Third stop of the day, when you enter through an alley, you know a good time is imminent. Redeemer is, in a word, enchanting. Outback is a casual courtyard set up with a window where you can order by the slice. Continue to the front side and you can find a seat at one of the few tables in the dining room or the ample bar. Executive chef Devin was kind enough to sit down with us and really roll out the red carpet. We have some garlic knots here. Oh, yes. They're definitely not your normal knot shape, kind of free form. Uh, balls of fun. And this is our sourdough. It is stuffed with fresh mozzarella. I'll tell people these are life-changing. Uh, it's hard to go back to a regular garlic knot. Do you mind if I get so into one get in while you're there, talking? Man. Oh, get in there. yes, the warmth um, yeah. is coming off. If you're ready for your life to change, I hope you're, I hope you're ready. And those are served oh, with uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Calabrian chili honey for those guys. A little mm. spicy, a little sweet. This is our standard, right? It's the cheese pizza. It's somewhere a hybrid between your New York cheese slice and a margarita, okay. I would say. I would say we're calling it the standard because we're kind of setting the standard with this one. Our crust is a three-day uh, sourdough fermentation. It's so flaky and light. Yeah, the for sure. That's from the fermentation. So when you let that sourdough really do its work, um, it's pre-digesting a bunch of the fiber and gluten that okay. you wouldn't see in other pizzerias. Okay. Uh, what I like to tell people is this pizza is not gonna, it's not gonna hit your gut like a bomb. Right. And this is beautiful. So well. this is the Diavolo. Um, I would say this is our most popular special pizza. It is kind of spicy. It has our spicy red sauce. We have some soprasada and the cup and char pepperonis on there. Uh, house pickled jalapenos and some pepperoncinis on there. One thing I know about myself is that my affection can be bought. So maybe that's what's happening here. Or maybe not. But it's quickly evident that this place is different in a really, really good way. I think what we're trying to do is really hybridize what you would expect from a New York slice, a New York style pizza um, with like a little like Colorado Denver vibes, right? Pizza doesn't have to be fancy, but it is art. Same as painting, poetry, or music. Sometimes it's a regionally inspired melody, like jazz or Motown. Sometimes it's a two-minute, guns-blazing punk rock jam. And sometimes it's something that's hard to put your finger on. Something made up of elements of other genres you love, but put together in a way that's not quite like anything else. That's Redeemer. They call it New York Style 2.0. I think it's Denver Style, version one. What is it about pizza that springs people together? Yeah, what is it? It's an edible plate, right? It is a vessel for other really quality ingredients. Like there's people out there doing the traditional stuff. There's people out there doing the weird odds and ends. And I think the diversity of it all like speaks to, right, there's just, a, there's a pizza bread. And there's a slice out there that someone can enjoy. And as we finish up for the evening with the glow of a glorious old fashioned and belly stuffed to the brim, I think of our city and where we are in history. So much has changed over the last few decades and everyone can have their opinion on the merit of that. But new, delicious and exciting things are happening every day and they'll continue to happen as we continue to evolve and see where the miraculous ride of food, drink and culture takes us. I, for one, am excited. We've come so far, but maybe we're just getting started. See you next time, friends. <laughs>